I got a coffee. This one is great. Um, dookie shorts on me. I was just like doing a thing. What if it's your girl, Minna? Welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you're here watching. I'm doing my first ever Target haul. I've watched these videos a lot and I've always been like, yo, I like Target. I go to Target. I be hauling this stuff. So here we are with a Target haul. I'm not going to hold you. We're going to get right into it. Okay. Now, first of all, if you're wondering what lip this is, I'm wearing Savage on the outside by the lip bar and In Vogue on the inside by Juvia's Place. Additionally, this hair is by Sensational. I'll link it below. It's their half up, half down. The style is in UD5. All of that will be down below. This is a, <laughs> is that a water stain? <laughs> water stain. This is a watermelon colored maxi dress from Amazon. I'll link that below. And this jean jacket is from Fashion Nova. If I find a link, I'll link that below as well. Okay, I went to Target. I had to go pick up my contacts because I go to Target Optical to do my eye exam and it just makes it easier to get my contacts from them as well. And I had to go early and I was waiting for them to open and I was like, you know what? Why don't I look around? Comment below and let me know if you've ever gone to Target just to get what you wanted and did nothing else outside of that. I'm talking about you going to Target, all you need is one thing and you did not veer and venture into any aisles to find anything else. I want you to comment and let me know. I just felt like, you know what? I got like an hour, 30 minutes because I had arrived early. I got a coffee. I started looking around in the women's section, the night, <laughs> I almost said nightgown, the, you know, loungewear pajama section, made my way over to the makeup section. I was just like doing a thing. I looked at the like, looked at the stationary section. It's just a must, you know? I just had to because it was so fun. So let me show you what I got. First of all, some of this stuff I had ordered for pick up so I did pick them up while I was there it's a mix okay so first I got the Ali vitamins now if you know already if you've been around then you know that I before I even began working with Ali this whole year I was taking their women's multivitamins I discovered them the packaging is wicked cute I have been seeing people online talk about it and I'm like I want to try these out and I'm partnering with Ali this whole year this video is not sponsored but with that I'm taking the glowing skin vitamins which are so yummy collagen is in them great for hair skin and nails it's got hyaluronic acid in it as well then i'm taking the sleep vitamins as well it's got melatonin in it so yummy so good i'm also taking the hair supplements that one was i should have seen i wasn't planning on going in stores i already ordered this stuff for pickup and the hair one had to be delivered so it's not here yet but while i was there i could have picked it up but it already was shipped so there was no point but yeah i'm doing four of these ollie supplements okay now i get a lot of pr right and one of the pr items that i have been trying out recently I have fallen in love with okay I was like uh it's at Target I'm picking up another one like it just is what it is it's the soap and glory in shower body moisturizer yo this thing is fantastic I've tried another moist in shower moisturizer I can't recall which one it was but it didn't leave me feeling as moisturized as this one does this one is great. Like I post about it <laughs> and I hope y'all got it. I'm gonna link again, all of these things below. This is really, really good. I know that there are some in shower, I don't know if, okay, so with in shower moisturizers, come and let me know. This one you're supposed to put on without the water being like on, that must be a no brainer, but I'm just saying, I'm walking it through, I'm walking you through it. So you put it on, so you turn the, like you turn the shower head away from you or step away from it, put this on. I use a heaping amount. It might be because I use a lot, I use a lot. I want to make sure it works and it does. So I take a heaping amount and I apply it to my body in sections and then I rinse it off. Oh my goodness. Wow. If you want hydrated skin in the summertime. Now I like to do this at nighttime because then I just lotion my hands, my feet and I do my skincare and I'm good. During the day I haven't done this because I don't know that I'm going to still be hydrated through the day. Now on hot days, I can see myself doing this. You know when it's too hot to shower and then put on a thick lotion or like some of you might not put lotion on at all do you do that comment let me know do you just in the hot in the hot summer days shower and no put lotion on i can't do that i can't do no lotion at all because i have dry skin like i just can't and i just feel weird i don't like it <laughs> i need to lotion my hands my feet a little bit of my back like i just i have dry skin it's not desert dry but it needs lotion so maybe i'll do this on hot days you know it's on hot days yeah i like it love that for me now if you've been around for a while you see me joke about this but being very serious on my ig stories that i have african armpits on uh, what that means i need extra strength anything under my armpits okay <laughs> i don't have bo hello i like to take care of myself i love a good fragrance i hate just i don't like i don't like odors of any kind not in the house, not in the body, not in the breath, not in the hair. I don't like any kind of odor. I'm allergic, not literally, but I'm just I'm grossed out by odor of any kind. But, or with that said, I take my deodorant life very seriously and I use men's deodorant, all right? <laughs> so I picked up Old Spice. 
hey, it smells actually really good. This one has lavender in it. It does not smell like a man at all. In fact, when I've shared this with you all, I had a few of my audience members tell me that they also use men's deodorant. I just find that the women's deodorant that I have tried, I haven't tried everything on the planet, the ones that I've tried are just too foo-foo. It's like, what is this? Are you gonna protect me or what? Now, I didn't realize until maybe a year ago that there's, and this is like, you might think like, what? But I'm just, it is what it is. I didn't realize until like a year ago that there's a difference between antiperspirant and deodorant. So antiperspirant means it's gonna help you to not sweat. Whereas deodorant will take away the odor. So you want to be using a deodorant and antiperspirant, right? You want something that does both? Yes. Okay, okay, I didn't even look at this. I, I just I just said that. And look, this one has on it that it's an antiperspirant and a deodorant. Both of those functions are important. And now that I think about it, maybe the issue with the other Fufu women's ones is I wasn't choosing one that was a deodorant. Perhaps I was choosing an antiperspirant. I don't know, it don't matter. I'm hooked on men's deodorant and I like these Old Spice ones because they're very strong and they work very good. And this one literally smells like, it smells like lavender. I don't get it. Who doesn't want to smell like lavender, you know? Whew. Nice and strong, great for me. Love that, I got two of these. I'm sure my husband will take one and I'll take one, but we share so we can, all right. That's a different bag. We'll get to that one in a second. <laughs> now, oh, now, like I said, on the outside of my lip, the brown color is the Lip Bar Savage, and it's their liquid, vegan liquid matte. So while I was there in the beauty section, I didn't do too much damage. I just got another one of these, and I got the In Shower Body Moisturizer. I did well. Didn't I do well? I did well. <laughs> I did go over to the stationary section. I just love stationary. I'm the kind of person, I love markers and highlighters and all the things. I love stationary, I just do. So I have a different stationary journal. It's a notebook from Target that I ordered online. It's a black one, it's bigger. And what I love about it is that it's not too widely ruled. This one is much more thinly ruled than the one that I have. But this one I saw it made me so happy. I love thin ruled. It allows me to write small, and neat. I hate wide ruled paper. I will not write on wide ruled paper. Comment if you're just like me or if you don't care. I cannot write on wide ruled paper. I, I won't write. I will not. I would prefer that you give me a blank sheet of paper than to give me wide ruled paper. Do not do that. In school, oh, I had to have everything the way I need it. My markers, my pens, all different colors. You know, my ruler, if I was in elementary school, I had to have my, my thin ruled paper. It was, I think it was called college ruled. I could not do wide ruled, do not. On essays, it's like I have my own paper, thank you, praise his name. So this is really nice. This is the Wit and Delight Note to Self Journal. 160 lined cream pages. It just sounds so fantastic. Gold inside here. I don't need another one of these. But again, I'm just a sucker for all things organization. I don't know what I'll do with this, but I know I felt like I needed it. Hold on a minute. I haven't had my vitamins this morning. Let's do two of these women's multi. Okay. Oh my God. This is my treat for the day. And then two of the glowing skin. It's so good. You need your vitamins, girl. Link below. So in a clothing section, I kept eyeing this, this peach pink dress. Um... Not that I need another dress, simply because it's Target and it was wicked cute. And I'm like, that's a cute, loose dress that I can wear with some flat sandals or high heel, like heeled sandals, you know, a nice thick platform type sandal, whatever your heart desires. Single sole situation, depending on where you go in. So I grabbed this. <laughs> it might look really big to you, but I like my stuff to be big. Depending on what it is, you know. I've got this yellow dress from Amazon that I wore in a size large and it fits loosely. It's like this baby doll type of design. It just works when it's a little bit big on you. It sh that's just the whole point, okay? That's how it's supposed to be. But this is really cute. You got the, the what, two layers? Yeah, two layers, like a baby doll type situation. So if you big on you, then you have your beautifully lotioned, greased up legs and arms, hair done, nails done, everything did. And I think it's just really cute. So I wanted it big on purpose. I got a size large, like I said, and the color is peach. I'm gonna link this below as well. I think this is really cute. I can wear this. Actually, I could have worn this to church today, but I was in a rush. I couldn't think straight. And I wanted to do this haul. I could have gotten us a, a medium. I got curves, okay. 
I got a booty, so I don't want that to show at all. The whole point for me is for this to be big. We'll see. Maybe I'll go get a medium once I try this on. And not that I need more pajamas at all, but <laughs> again, you just gotta go take a look at what they're saying. You gotta find out what they're saying in the pajama section. They could be saying nothing. They could be saying something. And I just wanted to make sure that if they were saying something to me, that I heard what they were saying. Okay, you get it. Well, this pattern just really floated my boat. It floated my, it flo what's the, what's the past tense of float? Floated, floatered, no, float on, floated. The boat floated away. Mm. It doesn't sound that good. Something about it, it's just not, it's something about it, it really just isn't floating my boat. It, it's just what it is. It's not floating my boat. Mm. Cause you know, I got a booty, okay? I don't like my pajamas to be yoking me. I don't like to be yoked up. So in the bottoms, I got an XL. Nice and spacious, nice and spacious for the rum, pa -pa pum I like pants. You know, I just like to wear pants, whatever. Nice and beautiful, thin material. Great for the transitional spring, summer months. I don't like to wear shorts really at all. I don't like to wear shorts often. Listen, I'm very curvaceous and I don't like to be yoked up in shorts. Be riding a lot. The top I got in a double XL. <laughs> I got double XL. What I don't like, because I have a small waist and a big hip, what I don't like is when shirts stop at my hip. Then, because my waist is small, I look pregnant. Whereas if my shirt is big enough, it'll just look oversized, baggy, comfortable. So that's why when I buy stuff, I have to think about what is the structure of this top? I don't want it to stop at my hip and be loose, 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 and fitted. That that's not flattering at all. I actually can't stand that. Shoot, I could throw her on right now and be lounging around the house and be looking really cute while I'm doing it. Do you understand? The last thing that I got, this is actually a small haul. Oh, I actually almost forgot this at Target. So they had in the pajama section, but to me, this is more like loungewear. And Andrew Renee would be so proud of me because this is really like what she loves and I love it too. It looks really big. Again, I like my stuff to be big and loose. It just feels more comfortable that way when you're wearing it at home. I'm gonna wear this this week, you'll see. This is just so cute. It's long sleeve. In the top, I got a double XL. Again, I don't want it to stop at my hips. It needs to go over, go over the hips. And in the bottom, I got an XL. Large would be like <laughs> dookie shorts on me. Butt cheeks hanging out, what are you trying to do today? And I really wanna be able to, while I have this on, run and go pick me knee up. So I can't be having it yoking me up. That's just not gonna work out for me. Again, I don't really wear shorts, but this color was just so beautiful. Like, look at it, I'm brown skin. So those are all the things that I got from Target this past week. I want you to comment and let me know when last time you've been to Target and what did you pick up? Because you might've gotten something that I was meant to get but I didn't see, you understand? Make sure you comment, make sure you are subscribed. It's one of the things you can do to support my channel. I'm glad that you're here. Always glad that you watch my videos. And as always, thanks for watching, bye.